Monday, and what better way to start out the week than with baby metal? Um, if you've been with me on the journey so far, we've completed the metal resistance era last week, and what a way to close it out. If you missed that performance of Tales of the Destinies and the One from Tokyo Dome 2016, then you have to go back and watch it. It was the perfect way to move us into the metal galaxy. For our first song in this new era, on this new day, I felt it was fitting to start out with the, with the song, Brand New Day. So we'll be watching their live debut from Legend Metal Galaxy, day one show from January of 2020. I'm excited to get this day started. Link to the original video will be in the description below. All right, let's check this out. It's the first song we're hearing in this new era. Ah, they fooled me. I thought for a second we were going to go right in there. Great imagery. I'll tell you right now, that is not the sound I was expecting to start out with. It was like a more, what, what's the term on? It's like a very heavy version of easy listening. Um, interesting concept, but it makes sense for like the sun rising in the background, a happy brand new day. Uh, this is interesting. Let's keep going. <laughs> I've got to say, uh, way different than anything I was expecting on this, uh, from them. It's got that more, definitely more popish sound, but it's got heavy elements to it. Um, that snap that they keep doing, that is definitely something like I would hear in R&B or pop or fusion. Like I, I call it earlier, like easy listening. It's like something you, like the music you would hear, like over the, like over a radio in like a department store or something but very heavy it up. Uh, it's definitely not easy listening. It's just that style of music, that happy, 
brightness that they put that they pipe through stores and stuff like that to make everyone feel good while they're in there shopping. That's what this is giving me the same feeling of, but you know, metal and rocked up. Some of these images in here are amazing. Uh, they they have such a good way of putting on shows. Uh, that was definitely shown in the Tales of the Destiny and the One. Um, this is a really really good performance here. Uh, the the way the lighting and the shadow play uh, with some of the the screen in the background it's really cool. Let's keep going. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> I'm also really impressed with the choreography here, which, again, is something I would never expect to come out of my mouth. Um, but one of the things that really impresses me, and I don't know why, it's a little thing, but it's a little things that count sometimes, is whenever that snap sound comes over... Uh, we know it's not them making that sound because you wouldn't be able to get that through that much unless they're doing it right next to their uh, microphone. And then you're not going to, well, you might get the effect depending on what the effects they have on the microphone, but that's side's point. My guess is it's on, a, the snap is on a track somewhere. Uh, and they're doing their snaps in time with it. And to me, that's just cool as hell <laughs> because they have to be on point to make it look like them doing it. Just a little thing that that uh that that I noticed in this, and it's some like I said, sometimes the little things that really make things happen. Um, dancers are doing I mean, Moa, and I don't know who the other one is right here. Um, I don't know which one of them it is. Uh, but yeah, the song itself, like I said, totally unexpected. But uh, Sue's vocals are fantastic in here. Different style, more more popish and I like it uh, she's doing really well it fits her really well It's just a happy, happy song. I have no idea what they're really saying. Um, I can see, hear them saying like brand new day every now and then, but it's just, a, it appears to be, even without knowing the lyrics, this song is supposed to lift you up. And you can tell that just from the arrangement of the song itself, just the the orchestration of the, the music. It's that uplifting song. Like I said, it, Reminds me of some of the stuff you might hear piped into the background of department stores to make their customers feel happy while they're there. And that's what this is. It's not department store music. I'm not saying that. But it's that style of it's, we're going to make you feel happy. 
And that's they're getting that effect out. They're doing really, really well because I'm happy. That was really, really good, guys. All right. Really, really fantastic. Let's talk. I mean, I said a lot during the song about what this song gave me the feels for. Um, I'll say it again. It's that background music in that they pipe purposely into stores to make you feel happy and want to stay. That is the feeling that that gave me. It made me enjoy it a lot more because it had that, the chords and the way they, they make music to sound that way and give you the feeling of happiness. It's, it's fantastic. And that's what that did. Even without knowing any of the words, it just sounds like a very uplifting type song. Now, it would be ironic if it was not. It had that same feeling. That'd also be very cool. But I, I think this is definitely an uplifting song. But hey, move on. It's a brand new day. Don't be down. Could be completely wrong. No idea. Because like I said, I don't know what the lyrics say. But that was fantastic. And the way the lighting and did the choreography, everything in there was absolutely great. Absolutely beautiful. It's what makes baby metal who they are. Uh, I was listening to some songs uh, earlier this morning. I had to go out real quick. And... I was listening to some baby metal stuff, and it got me. I was, it was specifically uh, Tales of Destiny and the One. I was listening to the uh, album version of them that I have on Spotify, and one of the things that really got me in there was I don't I mean I could. Those songs are awesome in and of themselves, but seeing it live and seeing what the production was, and then hearing it again. I can visually see everything that was happening. And to me, Baby Metal is such a visual band. They're a live band. Their songs are fantastic, but they're even better when you watch the entire performance. And that may have been why, uh, when I first was introduced to them, you know, a couple of you know, years back, it didn't catch on with me at all because it was just a video. And there's, you know, while well, it was cool, yeah, I mean, this is live and this is fantastic. Anyway, I'm rambling on. Um, so we're going to end this one here. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and leave a like. Um, leave any suggestions for future reactions in the comments below, and they'll be added to my list. Don't forget, I also stream on Twitch. Uh, we do live stream concerts on Twitch and gaming. The next one is going to be Baby Metal Tokyo Dome 2016 both Red Knight and Black Knight. So stay tuned for the official announcements on that, but that's a heads up. Um, also, we have a Discord, so if you want to keep up to date with everything that we have going on, join us on Discord. Um, right now, the big thing is you guys are helping me decide what uh, what we're going to stream for our holiday stream at the end, end of December. Uh, there's a channel over there devoted for that, so join our Discord, come take come participate in everything that's going on over there. Great conversations, great group of people that we have over there. I'd love to see you over there and interact. I'm very active on there, so it's a great way to personally get in touch with me and interact with me. If you're interested in supporting the channel, um, you can support us on Buy Me A Coffee, where you can find the original videos for anything that was blocked or edited for YouTube. Um, and you can also watch any concert that you might have missed uh, live on Twitch. So, Check that out. Link is in the description for all of these things. My Twitch, my Discord, my Buy Me Coffee, all down in the description. Uh, plus any other social media that I happen to have. Uh, 
Don't forget, vote in our Fan Choice Friday poll where you guys tell me what to react to every single Friday. Um, very simple. Go to the community tab, find the poll, vote for the band. Whatever, whoever wins, that's what I'm going to react to. It's guaranteed every single time. All you have to do is vote, and then I'll do all the rest. All right? So just go and vote. Simple as that. With that, I hope everyone has a great day, and I'll catch you all next time.